Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make some paper towel holders, or napkin holders. Uh, as you can see, I'm making some progress on my, on my place. The bathroom's kind of done, I'm going to put a mirror there, uh, but I'm not there yet. Let's see. But today we are going to concentrate on paper towel holders, like these, or napkin holders. You know, that way you don't have just blank booths with nothing on them. I'm going to put something to make them interesting. Uh, I'm over... I'm adding audio to this because my audio player went stupid and didn't record squat. So if it doesn't quite match up, sorry. But as you can see, I chose the darkest wood I could as the outside foundation, which is four of those small, you know, very small floor tiles. Uh, you can get that wood over on the other side of the uh, bridge. So you start by placing one of these small tiles where you, wherever you want the paper towel holder, napkin holder, sorry. Then you need to get one more of those to put the side wall on. And that's a little trickier because you got to get it right on the edge. And that's, I'm sure I've told you guys the technique where you have, where if you rotate the block, it'll allow it to set in there. And Roblox is very touchy about their camera angles. Things won't line up right if you don't have the camera angle just right. See, do a quick rotation and she drops right into place. Alright, from there it's easy. Grab your three white tiles, which you got from the birch tree. Stack them together. You want three. If you choose four, you could just you could just use a regular piece of flooring, the square flooring, which would give you four, but then you wouldn't have that upright look. They would uh they would look square and I don't like the way they look that way. This way you have the look just like the old restaurants where they napkin holder on the on the boots so once you laid it down put your last piece on top you're done it only takes a couple minutes so let me know what you guys think I love the way they look um, if you guys have any other ideas for something I can put on the tables to make them look more authentic please let me know as you can see, they look a lot better than a blank empty table like these. I'm going to put one or two on the counters that are here. And then I'll be putting a register right between the two counters. Um, I'm going to put a soda machine back in here, which I'll show you guys how to make that too when I get that point. As you can see, I don't even have a floor in my kitchen yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. I think it's starting to look pretty good. So just let me know if you guys see this and you like what it looks like let me know uh, so got to get my camera just right apparently <laughs> see you guys <laughs>